Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining me this evening. It's going to be a fun evening. While we're here early and getting ready to start, tell me where you're from. I think it's always good to know our diversity of our group that comes in from all over. Uh, we are just getting tuned up, raring to go. We are going to be talking about goals this evening and taking your dream into your vision, into your goals and making it all work. Uh, we have Jackie and Shatek and also Philadelphia, Arizona. Welcome, Minneapolis. It's good to have you. Chicago, Raleigh, North Carolina. Bob and Kim, good to see you or see or hear from you. Toronto, Canada. Love that. Love that. It's great to have so many people. Orlando, Florida coming in. Oh, yes. Oklahoma. Gosh, Arlene in Harrisburg. Sweet. Hong Kong is with us. The Gulf Coast, Delaware. It's awesome. It's so good to have you. California. Perfect. All right. Nick in New York, awesome. Los Angeles checking in, York, Pennsylvania. Oh, it's a good night to be together. Hey, good to see you, David, down in Houston. Melbourne is on, Australia, great to see you. New Hampshire is in, boy, that's great. What an honor to have each and every one of you join us tonight. Uh, it's going to be a good opportunity to dig in, to really help form the future for you as we move forward. Um, and it is so, so very important. You know, I've been a huge fan of always having good direction when starting on a, a mission or a, a, a task or, a, or making something happen in your life. You just have to have that direction. And tonight we're going to be focusing on that. And we're going to be talking specifically about goals. And as we spend more time uh, talking about things as we come up, uh, I know that you'll have questions. I'll know things that will come to mind. Uh, I just want you to know, put them in your chat, uh, and I'll take a look at them at the end, and we'll answer as many as we can. Um, tonight's focus is on goals, and I think we all understand that this is very essential. It's part of our basic five. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a twist uh, in building the functionality of your goals and action plan. I'll be staying closely to the philosophies that we teach in our basic five, but I wanted to really focus on how it all begins because you just don't get together or sit around a table and say, let's do this. Okay. It really takes some time and effort. And, you know, it's important because through that dream that you take in and you create the vision of seeing yourself there and then you ultimately get to being able to set your goals and translate that into a plan of action i i always believed in this you know you've got to have that vision in place and you've got to trust the process so this whole concept of building goals really includes believing in yourself believing in the business that you have chosen, believing in the compensation and believing to the people that you work with, your team, uh, your vision that you put into place that translates into your goals and ultimately your plan of action will continue to be that guiding force for you as you move forward. And I can't stress that enough because I don't think enough of us take the time to really dig deep into what we want to accomplish when we set our goals. So I want to start from the biggest of pictures. You know, uh, J.R. Reininger, the founder of our company, has a thing that he says, dream big because you'll never be bigger than your dreams. And I, I really believe that. You have to take the time to think about what is your utopia world. And when you start thinking about those, those are dreams. And basically from that dream, you are going to narrow it and your vision starts to put that dream in what I refer to high definition, you know, where you're seeing yourself right in the middle of that. So you've got your 
big picture from your dreams, the utopian world, then the vision of seeing yourself there, no different than when I was in my youth and playing in the National Football League or playing at the big house in Michigan. Before a game, we'd walk on the field and we'd visualize what plays we were going to break for the game. Same thing when I started 29 years ago, what we wanted to accomplish, Nancy and I, in this business. And it's no different than 29 years ago than it is today. And I will tell you that for the simple reason is that I am on my fifth goal, okay, based on reestablishing those dreams, constantly establishing the vision, and then moving forward. So a vision to uh, describe it is the state of being able to see. And you can't worry about if other people can see your vision. You can see your vision. And that is very, very important. But remember, to get to your vision, it all starts with the dream. So where do we begin? <laughs> you got to start with yourself. And you're going to have to find a place to get yourself in what I call dream mode. That's right, dream mode. Where can you relax? Where can you have some peace? I recommend if you have a significant other that you do this in tandem because it's so, so very important to talk through what you both want to accomplish because each one of you have an equal vested interest in the success as you embark in this journey. And I remember from the very beginning when Nancy and I first got together and we start dreaming about what we wanted, what our utopian world was. And we had a list from here to here times 10. And we finally got done writing down everything we wanted. And we just started to laugh because it was so much. It was so in excess that it was just like, it's not even real. And so as I go through this with you tonight, I want you to understand that building your goals and building the action plan is a process that doesn't just start by, okay, let's set a goal. No, there has to be that bigger picture. So let's just assume that you're gonna get into your dream mode you're going to be your utopian world where you see yourself. And then now you're going to put yourself in high depth with your vision. Okay. So now you have a vision of seeing yourself there. So now to help you clarify that vision, I just want to go through these steps real quick before this is not your goal. This is just clarifying your vision. Everybody understand that. I'm not talking about getting your goals yet. I'm just, doing things necessary to identify the goals that will take you to make your vision a reality. Okay, what do you want? What do you don't want? Remember when I said we had this huge list of items that Nancy and I wanted to accomplish, but then we had to go back and say what we really didn't want. And then we had to trim it down again and say, what do we really, really, really want? And then ultimately, how do we get that? having that vehicle. You see, my whole goal process started even before Market America. I'm a little bit more mature than most people in the business, meaning that I've had more years on you. So I had other things in my life that I've done trying to get to me where I want to be. But ultimately, how do you get it? And when do you want it by? And I want to just say this, everybody has to understand that success takes time, okay? Don't do something unrealistic that's going to throw you into a twirl so that you lose track about going after what you really want because the timing you put into place just didn't make any sense. And when I say that, you know, when you want it by, Success takes longer than a year or two years or five years. Sometimes it takes 10 years. Sometimes it takes 15 years. But what does it matter if you're on the journey that you're passionate about? You're enjoying every day of your life going through the struggle of getting to where you want to be. 
And once you're there, imagine what it's going to feel like to achieve it. I mean, that's just the best. I mean, just sit back and think about what you want, what your vision was, and now you're there. You're in where the place you've set for yourself and for your significant other, you're there. How does that feel? Because that feeling is such a driving force. And then you have to have another dose of reality. What happens if things don't go the way you plan? Okay, and I just want to share with you what I've learned early on in life. It's nothing more than, okay, so there's something that has put a turn in the road, an obstacle in my way. You have to analyze it. You have to understand what there is that's blocking that way. Or what was it, what is it that's setting you back? And then you have to adapt to that. You have to adjust. You might have to adjust your timing, the way that you're attacking this obstacle or getting to point A from point A to point B. And then ultimately you go back after it and achieve. So analyze, adapt and achieve. Uh, for those of you that seen the movie Invincible, there is a scene at the end of the movie where my partner, uh, wide receiver Vince Papali, basically we were in a critical play playing the New York Giants and basically something he recognized that made him check out of the play that was called. And he analyzed the situation and he adapted, called an alternative play, he adapted to it. And then he committed to it and he achieved a wonderful result. A fumble, he picked it up and made the winning touchdown. Ah, storybook. So analyze, adapt, and achieve. So no matter what happens during this process, as you pursue what you see yourself in your vision, you see your significant other in this vision and your family in this vision, you have to plan for any unexpected obstacles or setbacks. Now, just a side note, People without goals have no destination, okay? You've got to know what it is, and I'll tell you what's not acceptable. Not writing out your goals. You have to write them out. It's a proven fact. There's science behind it. There's a more likelihood that you'll commit to making it happen if you write it out. Very clear. Also, before you begin, it's critical that you can identify your why and convert it to a compelling two minute commercial. Now, not enough of us have a compelling two minute commercial. So that tells me you never really took the dream mode, turned it into a vision and really saw yourself in high def, asking yourself how you felt by accomplishing that with ultimately you're going to ask yourself how you felt. And that feeling is going to be part of how you will compose that compelling two minute commercial. I knew for a fact that during my journey, I have had setbacks. When I met J.R. Reidinger 29 years ago, I was not where I wanted to be. There needed to be another Adapt. I had to adopt. I had to change. I had to do something. I had to analyze what was going on. And what was going on is I was doing too many things that took up all my time that wouldn't allow me to gain my financial position to where I needed it to be. Well, when JR introduced me to this business model and the management performance compensation plan, I could see exactly how I needed to go and what I had to do to get exactly what I wanted. It changed everything in my life. And so now my two minute commercial was really compelling when I shared it with people. And people say, when do I say my two minute commercial? And I'm gonna tell you this right up front. I love saying my two minute commercial every time before I share the plan. And I always say the same thing. You're probably thinking why a former NFL football player 
would have his own home-based business, okay? And work in the age management community and in weight loss. And you know what? I come right back and say, I recognize that the path that I was on was not the path that was gonna take me to where we, my wife Nancy and I, wanted to be financially and security uh, wise that our family could be raised and given them the best opportunity and create the legacy that we wanted to make happen for our family. So people can relate to legacy, people can understand that their path isn't the right path and they just don't know how to make an adjustment. I'm connecting with my two minute commercial that supports the reason why I started my unfranchised business. It's important that all of this comes into life for you so that you can understand this. Now, the other thing that I learned that you have to have if you're gonna be successful in implementing an action plan and reaching your goals, you're gonna have to have an appealing description of the unfranchised business. And, and these are just four really easy, short things that you can do. Uh, a solutions-oriented business. I love that description, okay? Because people always ask me, what kind of challenges do you solve? Well, it could be anything from, you know, not being in the right profession to looking for a way to increase performance. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I have the opportunity to provide a potential solution. I like very simply, I have a distribution and internet marketing business. I don't have to get complicated. I, I have an age management business, okay? You probably know a lot of people that would like to stay young forever, okay? I mean, it's real easy to start conversations with anything. I work from home or in fact, anywhere I, I have a business, you know? So it, it, it's kind of thing that people are gonna say, well, how do you do that? you know, kind of thing. What do you do from working from home? You know, now I can talk about a distribution internet marketing business. Whatever it is, you have to love what you do. Because if you don't love what you do, you have a hell of a time explaining in simple terms what you do. And if you find yourself stumbling on responding to this by giving an appealing description of what you do, then you really got to work on this because it's important for the success of your confidence to make your goal count. Now, what's the easiest way to work on your goals? By going right to the getting started guide. You all have heard this. You all know where to find it in your support materials or you can order them through your um, standardized back office ordering, okay? Getting started guide. And right when you get into the beginning, it's about not only developing your business, but the first section that you're really gonna dive into is your why and your goal statement, okay? Now this is pretty simple right here. Simple is good, but what I'm telling you is based on my experiences of sitting with hundreds if not thousands of people and helping them put together their goal statements because People don't take enough time to think about what their goals are. Now, let me make this very clear. The goal statement, and we'll talk about that as we come go along, and the action plan may not be exactly the same because there's going to be steps in your action plan that's going to take you to the goals, all right? And your real goal will be now broken down into short-term and medium-term goals. I hope you follow me on that. But this is important to have your own personal goals as you go into this. Now, here's a little hint, okay? The initial business objectives, no matter what your goals are, you're gonna start here. You're gonna create 10 to 15 customers who purchase our exclusive brands. You're also wanting to focus on personally sponsoring two qualified unfranchise owners, one on your left organization, one on your right organization. And you want to earn your first commission, first $300 commission that would be direct deposited in, into your account and ultimately go through the first pay cycle 
of hitting 5,000 BV on the left and 5,000 BV on the right or a total of $1,500. Now, I don't have any timelines here as of yet, but we'll get into that. But these are your initial objectives when you come in the business. It's not necessarily your goal, but this could be a short-term goal for you possibly, depending on what you set up. Now, I call this the pace, and this is the pace that I really like to work at. I like to create a plan of achievement in the first 90 to 180 days, the first three to six months, based on getting to $300 a month in commissionable income. Now, why do I choose 90 to 180 days? because it's better to build fast than slow. Now, I know what I ask here can be done in three to four months, but I don't know how fast a new on franchise owner will start the business. Just like I don't know how fast you'll commit to getting your dream, finding your vision, then writing your goal statement, and then start building the action plan. So ultimately, this is what the objective is in creating the plan. Over 12 weeks, I'd like to get an income of $300 per month. For that, I need to generate 1,200 group business volume on the left and 1,200 group business on the right. And if I have three unfranchised owners on the left and three, three unfranchised owners on the right, each producing those 10 customers plus their own personal use of products of 100 BV, which isn't crazy, okay? We're generating in excess of the 1,200 and 1,200 needed to earn that $300 in commissions, okay? I think you all can see that. Now, everybody should make a note. In the beginning stages, you're working to get your business and your entire team to 500 business volume per month in production via serving 10 customers who average 40 BV or more in purchases per month, okay? Very important. And you building up to using 100 BV of Market America branded products. That's how we build to 500 plus, okay? Now, Let's go back to start defining your goals. This is something that Lauren Reidinger shared with us, and it's a great method of putting out all the things that you think about, okay? So you draw the circle and you create a pie chart. And the way I do this a little simpler, I just basically write out a list of them and then create the pie chart based on all the things that I want. So now you create the pie, pie chart. It could be relationships. It could be home environment. It could be uh, wealth. It could be spirituality. It could be both personal and business. And then basically all of these things, you list your wants in each section. Remember when I told you Nancy and I had this huge list? Well, that huge list could be, carp I can't say this, carp um, compartmented, compartments. There's a word that'll say carp compartments that you list these things in. I can't say that word for some reason. But anyway, you put them all in each of the compartments. All right. So now what I ask you is, let's take a look at this. What do you want and what do you don't want? Because now you've got to go through and examine what do you really, really, really want. And when I say that, when you really think about some things that you write down, you really don't want them. How often have you met somebody that said they wanted something, but when they saw what they had to do, they came back and said, I really don't want that, okay? So this is the same thing. We're going to vet your list so that we can get to what you really, really, really want. And at that point, we're now going to narrow the scope to basically vocalize and visualize each of the things that mean the most to you. So when Lauren basically went through this workshop, she was talking about things she specifically wanted. 
growing the company and teaching the shopping annuity, reaching new people in the field, hit new record sales, be the best in health, you know, have more control of her time. Don't we all want more control of our time? And we want to try to minimize the distractions. So she started putting them down and the goals can re both, remember can be both personal and business related. Usually if your business is going the way you want it, you'll find yourself coming along pretty strong in what you're doing. Now, once you have your wants, those are the main topics in the list that fall within the pie chart. Now you want to be able to put your why. Everything you ask for, you have to ask yourself, why do I want it? I tell people this all the time because they say to me, how can I get my team to work faster or to be more focused? Well, you, if you understand why they have made the goals, what they made them, you'll understand exactly how to get them to move because it's that feeling, that, that feeling that comes for the why you're doing this, that's really going to make them move. Uh, what specifically is their plan of action? Is That's what that calls for. And when is the target date that you want to complete that to accomplish that specific goal? Why? I, want, I mean, I'm thrilled. I've got three grandchildren now. I love playing with them. I want to be around and watch them grow up. Uh, I want to feel better. I want to fit in my clothes better. I want to feel sexy. All right. So how am I going to do this? Well, I'm going to use the TLS Sure and Steady Lifestyle Program maybe portion control, exercise 30 minutes a day, whatever the pathway is you're putting down there and when. I want to accomplish this by November, 2021. Okay, that's 10 months from now. Is that doable? Yes, it's doable if you're willing to put in the work. Absolutely. I tell my kids all that when they're growing up, you can be whatever you want if you're willing to put in the work. Okay, you get that done. So, in this whole process, you decide what are you willing to give up or overcome to obtain the goals. Now, people, you can't have everything without giving something up. In fact, I hate to tell you this, depending on what your goals are, you know, here's what I've learned over my experience. Uh, success has no balance. You have to focus on it. You have to really put the effort in to make it happen. But what are you going to do with emotional obstacles? Fear of what other people are thinking or a, a, peer, a fear of public speaking. Um, you, you think about this? Well, are you willing to overcome it? Or are you just going to say, I can't do it? Um, scheduling. Uh, you don't want to give up your uh, Saturday golf date that you go out twice a month. Well, you know, I think you're going to have to give that up if you're having a hard time finding the 10 to 15 hours to get your business plan put in. Uh, how about financial obstacles? What happens if you can't afford to buy the tickets or you can't afford to have X, Y, or Z? Well, what are you going to commit to? Well, I'll tell you, you're going to commit to sell more product and create retail profits. You're not going to let obstacles slow you down. You're going to be a creative problem solver, but you've got to think about this before the journey starts. Think about when you go on a trip, how you pack your clothes, what shoes you take. Did you ever go somewhere and all of a sudden it got cold and you didn't bring any heavy clothes? Happens to me. Why? I didn't think through it. I didn't look at the advanced weather forecast. Folks, you got to know that this is business and this is life, and it may or may not go the way you plan it, but either way, it's not going to stop you. Did you see where I'm coming from here? I mean, are you going to be the person that joins me at the top of the mountain? I don't know. There's room for everybody, but you still have to climb it. Nobody's going to put you on their back and carry you there, okay? So here's an example of a goal statement, okay? It's a good one. Okay. Hey, it's January 25th, 2022. I'm an executive coordinator with MarketAmericaShop.com. I've earned over $1,500 in commissions now, and I earn $300 to $600 of supplemental income every month. I'm excited because this means this is going to pay for my car lease. Over the last 12 weeks, I was able to identify four new partners, and now I am on pace to earning $1,500 a week. 
Now there's a big difference between 300 and 600 a month that the 1500 a week, but she's seeing, or he's seeing that he's got four new partners that it's going to help advance his two sales organizations. It's the vision. You're seeing this. It's the livelihood. It's what's happening. Okay. This is what I meant seeing your dream in high def. When you take your dream, take it to a vision, and you now see it in high def, you can write a goal statement. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't the fact that this creates the action plan for him because they wanted to go to 1500 and earn 300 to 600 a month. They're still step one of the short term, which was the original objective. 10 repeat customers averaging 40 BV per month in purchases and personally using 100 BV or more in Market America branded products. There you go. All right. So you got it. You're on your way. Go, go, go. So you create your action plan. So let's talk about this now. All right. So we talked about a dream. We talked about a vision. We narrowed that to see yourself in it in high def. And now you are setting your goals. You set your goals. You know where you want to go. So let's create an action plan to a goal. So let's just say, you know, I want to earn 78,000 to 187,000. That's too big of a goal. It's either 78,000, 109,000, whatever it is specifically. There should be a number. That's too big of a range. But you need two organizations generating a minimum of 5,000 BV weekly. 5,000 on the left, 5,000 on the right. And we don't want to depend on any one person, okay? So you need to develop at least four leaders in each leg, all right? So if you're not going to depend on anybody, you personally need to sponsor eight in the process that are going to do the business correctly. Not just one on the left and one on the right. That's just to activate your business. That doesn't build your business, all right? That activates it and gets you started. Don't let that throw you off, all right? Next, <clears throat> we start talking about daily, weekly, and monthly goals. So I wrote down some additional things. You may see it. Make your bed. Now, why would that be on my daily goal statement? Well, I had the pleasure of listening to a graduation speech by an Army general, and he talked about how important it was every day to start off with a win. Well, making your bed is a win. So if you get out of bed and you take the time to make your bed, you've already accomplished something. So you're on a roll. Does everybody understand that? You can read your goal statement. You can view your dream board. Don't matter. Okay. You can also use your branded products. I could not imagine starting my day without having my isotonics cocktail. I send out one UF marketing app lead, either some information or I'm going to set up to set up some samplings uh, of, the, of the daily essentials. Uh, I'm going to listen or view or read something that's going to advance my knowledge. I'm going to have some personal development time in that process. I'm going to talk to a minimum of one to three people a day, five days a week. Now, I prefer you talk to three people a day, five days a week or 15 a week, and book at least one appointment every day, five days a week. <clears throat> and I want you to add at least two possibilities a day, five days a week or 10 per week, however you want to put it but this is a daily routine, all right? Does everybody understand that? For the weekly, I want you to make sure you read your unfranchised news, okay? You need to know what's going on. Uh, not enough of you are reading the information. You should have probably a call workshop if you're having a challenge making the calls. Uh, show the plan one to two times a week, all right? Follow up with your customers. Follow up with your prospects. Attend at least an, a home business presentation or an unfranchised business presentation with guests. 
That could be in person if you're in Taiwan, or today it could be online if you're in our other markets, okay? Again, we wanna also add two new customers per week. Um, why do I say that? I've learned that it takes about 25 customers to get 10 repeat customers. And if you're into uh, beauty and selling cosmetics or skincare, we know that those products last a little longer. So you're gonna need more clients and more continuous flow of retail profits to maintain your business and cover your expenses. So two new customers a week is a good go. Call your senior partner at least once. And administration, look for your alerts or notifications. Make sure you stay on your inventory management control. Make sure you're checking for online orders and passing them through if you have iTransact or some other way of collecting the dollars and you submit the orders for Market America to ship, okay? Now, monthly, we are now going to add at least four to eight new customers. Show the plan four to eight times during that a month. We're going to new shopping annuity product. Uh, now you're probably thinking, Dennis, one new shopping annuity product. Um, yeah, I, building your shopping annuity doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. So I'm not asking anybody to throw away products in your house. Use them up and then buy a Market America brand or a shopping annuity product to fill the void. Uh, sponsor one, uh, maybe two new partners per quarter, but at least one. 10 customers ordering uh, 50, 40 BV or more and 10 IBV, uh, a 10 monthly seminar or training. So important to be a part of the global meeting training seminar system. It's in our culture. 100% of us have to be involved with that. And one uh, marketing campaign to existing customers. What does that mean? Well, how about a coupon marketing? You know, a 10% off celebrating a certain weekend. Maybe you just take your best customers and send them a 10% off coupon on specific products. Uh, maybe you just send them out something like from your unfranchised marketing app, samples of daily essentials if they're not on a uh, nutrition product, okay? These are things that you break down for your business. Why? Remember when I said you have to analyze, adapt, you know, get into it. It's measure, monitor, control, you know, that stuff. If you don't know what your target is, and this is the same old story, if you aim at nothing, you hit it, you know, nothing. And before you know it, a week passes, two weeks pass, a month, six months pass, and you're nowhere, okay? Nowhere other than collecting your auto ship. And you're saying, oh, this business doesn't work when you haven't put anything down to hold your discipline to, to keep you going forward, okay? Be accountable to your action plan. That's sort of what we just talked about. I love the weekly accountability that's on our unfranchised management system. Folks, the report is amazing. Go under reports. Where you look at your management reports, just go to accountabilities. I love that. You know, that's, that's what I live by and believe. These are the things that JR taught from the beginning that have never let us down. It is <clears throat> the blueprint of what has to be done. So why don't we ask our teammates to do that? Partners, especially when they're asking you for specific support. We talked about measure, monitor, adjust and control based on the results, adjust the data of completion, adjust the action plan, attend additional trainings, uh, the basic five diagnostic quarterly. So what are we recommending here? Once every 90 days, we take a look at our business and we take a look at our action plan and we take a look at our list of goals and we find out how good were we in implementing our action plan? Do we have to move our dates out or we made them faster? You've got to go back and measure and adjust, okay? Very powerful. To achieve your goals, you have to believe in yourself and you have to take action. Now, 
Action items for tonight. You want to go back to the getting started guide. If you're going into the new year or you're going into a new month, why don't you go ahead and get into dream mode? Why don't you start going back to the beginning and really, really, really understand what you want. And that way your goals are going to be right on and you understand why, and you'll be able to go back and create a phenomenal two minute commercial. You'll have everything in place to really move forward as a champion. Okay. We want to rewrite your goal statement, review it with a senior partner. It's important. Implement an action plan and review it once again with a senior partner. Everyone needs to understand. Do not agree on an action plan if you're not committed to do it. Do not allow your senior partner to tell you what to do if you're not going to do it. You have to agree based on what you're asking me. I feel I can do X and Y. I don't think I can do Z. Fine. Adjust it. Extend the timeline. Don't say yes to something you will not do. I hate that. And you got to stop that. <clears throat> and this is about winning. This is about being the champion you were meant to be. And this is what we have to think like. We have to get our mindset that what you put in motion travels in motion. Let's just talk about that for a second. Minimal and maximum. You can minimize it by putting in and building your organization and only requiring minimums, meaning 50 BV monthly and 10 IBV per UFO. And ideally, if you had 50 on the left, 50 UFOs on the left and 50 UFOs on the right, you'll be earning somewhere in the area of 300 to $600 every other week and 300 in IBB commissions every third month, okay? Now, if you build the way we were talking about, all right, and we actually are getting people to have 10 customers that do a minimum of 40 BV, and they do 30 IBV, and basically, they're building an organization of 50 people on the left and 50 people on the right that you don't sponsor all of them, but the team builds. You should be earning $1,500 weekly and $300 monthly in IBV. Okay, that's pretty good. You know, that's already putting us in the area of about 80,000 annually of supplemental income. That's a pretty good deal. All right, now how about this? I haven't talked much about the shopping annuity, but what about you do what we asked you to do, generating 500 BV through 400 BV from your customers, 100 from yourself, but another 400 BV in products that you use around the household. I must use anywhere between 40 and 50 of our Market America brands in our household. 100 IBV, Great a month. Do you find the stores that your favorite stores to shop in? You know, without a doubt, I know where I get my food. I know where I get my clothes. We know where we get our shoes. Uh, and they're all online through shop.com. So if you did it this way, building a standard business, plus also becoming a shopping annuity master member, you've put yourself earning $2,100 a week and $1,500 a month, or you're now in the area of about $125,000 annually. And that's a wonderful bit of supplemental income. So once again, you can take a look at options and you can do minimums, you can do maximums, or you can do what we ask you to do and it's right smack in the middle but it's still going to be further along than if you didn't do it. But you have to stay on top of the game and you got to build right. So let's just review important things. Everybody should be using and sharing the products. That's just, you got to do that. Maintain a minimum of 10 customers, each ordering 400 business, uh, 40 business volume per month or 400 business volume total. 
show the business plan twice a week, two evaluations, oh, even if you get one in a week, but you got to get at least one in a week. Maybe you can do one every two weeks and have four people see the plan. Um, one of my clients, one of my teammates basically was working the evaluation approach with one, but she had four guests come. So they did a total of five plans in one sitting. Pretty awesome. All right, continue to work in the homes. We believe that whether you're in uh, an area that allows it or not, you can still use technology. Personally sponsor at least one new business partner per quarter. That is critical, so critical, but it's not gonna happen until you wait to the last minute. You gotta keep doing this daily, weekly, and monthly and achieve master unfranchise owner status and work to uh, achieve that quarterly, three out of four quarters each calendar year. Very, very important. Next, I'd like you to attend at least a minimum of one training per month, okay? Attend a marketamericashop.com international convention or world conference. If you are listening from an international location, it would be your national convention, but we welcome you to our world conference this coming March in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's March 25th to the 27th. Duplicate success by buying and selling tickets to your current and new team members programs or trainings. Let me just say this very clearly. Everybody needs to support their local GMTSS first. If you want to attend national, interstate, uh, international, that's fine. But ladies and gentlemen, you have an obligation to support your local GMTSS wherever you are. As your business grows, continue to communicate and work with your team. Communication is so, so very important to build new leadership within your group. So let's talk about the things, five things you have to do. Okay, and we wanna do this weekly. So let's talk about it quickly. Use the evaluation approach to secure two presentations per week. If you've got a list of a hundred or more, we wanna call what? Well, one to three people per day, five days a week to get two people to evaluate the plan, whether it be part one and if they continue on to part two. Two evaluations per week is 52 per week or 104 evaluations per year. You are bound to get eight people that want to do this business correctly during that process. Remember what I told you, success takes time, okay? And you gotta stay focused during the process. Second. Be a product of the product. Use the products consistently and correctly to obtain positive experiences. Use your belief in your products to provide product solutions, people. Convert all spending into earning when possible and buy everything from your own business. It's just smart business, quite frankly. And how about showing the plan to two or more people per week? We talked about that. Preferably what? With a senior partner, okay? The buddy system works great. Bring possibilities to HBPs or UBPs. You can do that in person or online. The no decision close really sets you up to meet the right people. Book the follow-ups all the time. What's a successful meeting? When you book the follow-up. And always qualify or disqualify based on whether or not they lead you to people. Okay, so that's very important. Now, sell tickets to the next GMTSS event to the prospects. Now, let me just talk to you for just a moment. You have to remember, yes, we've gone through an amazing time in 2020. We didn't have all the in-person events that we want, but we do have the GMTSS in operation, and we are able to buy multiple tickets and assign them. It's not just up to you to buy one ticket. You're buying two or three tickets, three tickets minimum as we discuss. So because you're going to talk to enough people that will want more education. And that is the best way to make that happen. Don't send your people to a location to buy something that they're not familiar with. Assign them the ticket, okay? 
Now, if it's something as it translates back into an in-person event, it's easy to have three tickets and work to get two out to the people that you're doing evaluations with. Ensure that you and your members of your organization attend the ticketed GMTSS events. Make sure you and everyone on your team purchases three or more tickets to the next event. And the last habit that we want to get into is Measure, monitor, adjust, and control personally and your team of one through four above. Now, between you and I, we're asking you to pay attention. But as Frank Kiefer used to always say, he's a successful unfranchise owner that's built a lot of supplemental income. You can afford to pay attention because the supplemental income really is phenomenal once you get it going. So let's just end with this, that our founder wants us all to lead by example. You must succeed so other people can realize their dreams. Do you know how powerful that statement is? <coughs> that just is an amazing thought when you think about what we have the ability to do, and that is make a difference. In life, if we can make a difference, we have done something very, very special. And next, when you think about that, then you have to remember what we talked about. A goal without a plan is just a wish, okay? And that's not why we're here tonight. We are here to make things happen. And great things never come from the comfort zone, all right? You gotta get uncomfortable. If you're not uncomfortable, then you're not really pushing to bring out the potential that you have been given, a God-given gift. You have it there to bring out. So get out of your comfort zone. And that action plan should stretch you, all right? I just want you to know that. And hold that vision and trust the process, okay? The process is proven. The vision will become your guiding force. And you have to remember that, all right? So that was tonight's session. I'm going to run over here and see if we can't ask, answer any of the questions that come in here. Um, let me just go to Q&A first. <clears throat> May I know if there's going to be a replay of this? Uh, it's awesome. Thank you, Ling. Yes, uh, it'll be up on YouTube uh, within 24 hours where you can get subtitles. And it is our pleasure uh, to have you here tonight, okay? Let's look at the chat. Let's see. Uh, bum, bum, bum. All right. Lots of things going on here. <coughs> Hello from Kentucky. All right, good. All right. Lots of good comments tonight. You know, I'm glad. The information must be simple enough for you to really comprehend and do. And I really hope tonight was something that you can take and internalize and share with your teams and take you all the way to the very top. Let me encourage you that right from JR and Lauren, Mark and Joe and Marty and Kevin and myself, all the corporate team members, we are in your corner and really looking to see you at the top. And we want you to be there because we know you have that ability to reach the top. Um, the biggest part, the, uh, when is the marketing app gonna be in Canada? It's being worked on Karen right now. Uh, so you can expect it sooner than later. We've got good announcements coming out uh, at our world conference. We're happy to tell you that Taiwan is already underway and getting ready to roll. And uh, our team, our product team uh, is working on bringing out new um, products, trial size samples uh, for the unfranchised marketing app. It's the greatest tool we've ever brought out as far as building the business. It helps you reach people and get into conversations. But we wanna thank you for joining us tonight. And I look forward to seeing you at the top. Thank you for your support. Thank you for Mark and America. Let's make it work. Have a great evening. We'll see you at the top.